Let me say hello to everyone who may be listening to this short question that I have been given. My name is Ricardo Selman, Family Life Director of the East Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I am also a psychotherapist and um, even though I am director, I also pass a church. I am a friend of Lorena, we've worked together for a number of years, lovely lady. Apart from the fact that she gives me work, I would not in any way hold it against her. The question under consideration tonight, or today, which I would depend on where you are, um, is this, I have been married for 15 years, and in my 10th year, my husband presented me with an anniversary gift of sexual toys <laughs> and said, I cannot do it anymore. Since then, we have not had sex, which means they have not had sex for five years or over five years, wrong that area. Uh, it says that he is a wealthy guy and gives me everything else and more. His, re his one request is that his private life is kept away from the church as he is an elder. The toys don't satisfy me totally, so I am tempted to cheat. Would I be wrong? That is the question that we are discussing at this time. Let me be very, very honest with you, though, that the, the, the question of itself, the question of itself um, has, um, has left me with, with a number of questions in my mind. There are a number of uncertainties. And so as a result of the uncertainties and the unknowns inside of the question, I have had to make some assumptions. And um, let, me, let me begin by, by saying that the introduction of sex toys to the conversation by the husband has um, created for me um, the assumption that chances are this um, question of sex toys was discussed before. Not necessarily, but that is where um, I am going with this because as soon as he decided that he cannot take it any, uh, he cannot do it anymore, he introduced sex toys. So I assume it could be or could not be, but I, my assumption is that the conversation on sex toys occurred before and it was um, something that he had given thought to. That is my opinion on that. Like I said, there are many uncertainties in this, in this, in this um, example here. Or in this question. Now, I, I am asked, I am I'm forced to ask a number of questions when husband said, I can not do it anymore. I am, I am forced to ask the question, um, is he, did he discover that he's gay and he's no longer um, interested in, in having a relationship with a, with a woman? Or was he already, assuming he's gay, I don't know, Assuming that he's gay, that he was already involved in some um, relationships before with men. I don't know. I'm just assuming. And then it begs other questions such as this. Is there another woman involved? Is he given his substance according to the wise man Solomon? Is he given his substance to another woman? That is a question that comes up. I cannot do it anymore. Is he given his substance to to another woman. Now, did he did he lose interest in his wife simply because she was nagging him, simply because she was um, 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 un dissatisfied or unsatisfied with with his performance? Um, so he decided that you know I cannot satisfy this woman, and since I cannot satisfy this woman, I am done with that. Is it that the 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 libido of the of the man? 
is low in comparison to the libido of a woman. That is, the woman is much more highly sexed than the man. That is, that is what I'm asking. Is she more highly sexed than the man? And hence, she requires more sexual satisfaction than he does. All right? That is, that is also um, a possibility. Then I ask myself the question, is it a case where he is so wealthy that um, he takes so much time working by the time he gets home, um, he's too tired to, 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 to satisfy her. He's more, more like a quick wham, bam, bam. And he's finished with that because he wants to go off to sleep because he's tired. I do not know. I do not know. The, 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 the wife did not say the why in the example. The why would have been very important in helping me to answer this question. But she did not give a why in the question. Um... So he did he get frustrated and give up simply because he he had enough of that. He cannot take that anymore. She's nagging and the, the constant nagging has, has somehow uh, reduced his ego to less than a man. Because a man's ego, as you know, is very important. If you tell a man that he's not performing and you tell that, tell that to him long enough, chances are he will back away. Uh, because, you know, his manhood is on a question and it becomes a matter of survival for him. All right. So there's so many questions in there. I wish I wish the example had stated explicitly what was really the problem. Not just that he says, I cannot do it anymore. I, I assume that the woman just want me to answer the question to the end. Is it wrong for her to cheat? That may be what she really wants to get to. Because maybe she didn't love her man in the first place and she wants him gone. Like I said, there, there are too many uncertainties in this question um, for, for me to, to answer this question definitively. The, the other issue has to be, as I, th as I think about the question, is, um, is he giving her all of these material things now to compensate for the fact that he can no longer have sex with her? or because he no longer wants to have sex with her. You see my problem? There's so many questions. Now, let me say that sex toys, sex toys are no substitute for a penis or a vagina. It's no substitute because a sex toy cannot give the kind of satisfaction um, a couple needs. Hence, the woman said, the wife said, that the sex toys are not satisfying her. This means that she tried them before and she's tired of them and she wants the real thing. She wants a real man. And so this is, this is critical for, for us to understand in this whole scenario that sex toys cannot compensate for the man not having sex with his wife. Neither can money compensate or material things compensate for the for the um the exclusion of um of sex um with your husband now let 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 let, let me let me let me also say this that, that i have a problem with the husband as well because the husband being an elder being an elder wants his private business kept to himself look i respect that i don't think nobody has a right to you know um, to do it otherwise, but let me let me say this though that a husband, the husband is being disobedient to his duties. A husband is not in a position to say, "I am no longer going to have sex with my wife." He's not in a position to that to to say that simply because the Bible is clear on that. The Bible said, "Do not defraud." If First Corinthians chapter seven and verse five, do not defraud one another, except it because be by consent and for a time, and for a time. And um, so being an elder, being an elder does not excuse his behavior because he's being disobedient to his wife. He, sorry, he's being disobedient to, his, to, to the word of God. And, and, and as a result of that, my recommended, recommendation would be for him to step down from being an elder because he just can't do that. He just can't do that. It is his responsibility because the, the, the Bible is clear that the body of the husband belongs to the woman. The body of the woman belongs to the husband. And if they're going to refrain from sexual activity, sexual pleasure, then it means it has to be by consent and only for a period. And, and, and the Bible says you have to render due benevolence. Due benevolence. Now, <clears throat> So, in my opinion, he needs, he needs to step down because it's a matter of hypocrisy, really. 
um, to be to be trying to do all of these things and not taking care of home is number one responsibility is to take care of home so it, it is it is indeed a horrible experience for to have to know you have a man in a house and a woman in a house and we cannot engage in the issue of sex and both of us are two two healthy human beings that is torture I have found out for certain couples so I'm trying to say here to you that toys can't satisfy because you need a warm body you need someone to hug you and kiss you and tell you that everything is gonna be all right there are no amount of sex toys that can accommodate for that so the question you're really asking really is it wrong for you to cheat I don't really have to answer that question do you do I I really don't have to answer that question I'm sure that you know the answer to that question and maybe you are trying to get an answer from something else in the question that was put there to for for the purpose of um of maybe creating a reconciliation between you and your husband because you know the Bible is clear the Bible is clear Genesis chapter 20 and verse 14 do not commit adultery and even when you go into the book of Proverbs, the Bible says down there, do not give your substance, around four, Proverbs 4 and 5, do not give your substance to another woman, to another man. And um, the Bible says, stay far from the household. We have enough evidence and you know that um, the, 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 the Bible is clear. The Bible says, don't even look and lust, you see. Don't even look and lust. And then um, Hebrews chapter 13 and 4, marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled. The Bible talks about when two people are married, the, the, the two become one, the one flesh, that is sex. The, the sex create helps to create that oneness between the husband and the wife. So is it wrong for you to cheat? Of course it is wrong to cheat because cheating is never good. Um, you need to find out the details of what is going on with your husband. You need to get help for him and he gets help for you whatever the problem is they need to try to settle it in one one way or another because these are problems that can be settled you need to settle it if it is that the sex is not good there are ways to settle that there are are, are, are things that can be done so that he can can perform the way he needs to perform if it is I'm saying that I need to know exactly what the problem is and I still don't know what the problem is but is it wrong for you to cheat yes the Bible says flee fornication yes the Bible said do not commit adultery but you didn't send that question just for me to ask to, to, to tell you that you know that you need to tell me what is the real question and I'll be happy to answer it now that is the best I can do on this question may God bless you all may God strengthen you stay faithful love your husband love your wife have a lot of sex it helps to draw you close together that's why God made it you no. Three reasons for sex. Huh? Three reasons. One, make babies. Two, pleasure. Three, release. May God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay well.